Hey everyone, uh, up for another video review is Oolong from the Dragon Ball Collection line. Um, uh, this is um, definitely one of my favorites um, because it's Oolong, and I, I like I really like when they do side characters or characters that you know aren't the biggest. I do love Dragon Ball characters because for some reason I feel like Dragon Ball doesn't get enough figures. You know, um, I mean I know it was only about what 150 episodes I'm not sure to be exact but there was only like um, 150 or so episodes but it was so good like the content that that it had was so good it was so funny it was serious it was suspenseful you know I mean Dragon Ball Z was too Dragon Ball Super I feel is like losing it a little bit just because I don't really feel the suspense because you know anything could wish any anybody or anything back you know so it's kind of losing it a little bit there but I mean the character designs are awesome uh, that right there is the um, basically the trademark to let you know it's like official you know you could check on the box too it should have the toy animation sticker and then also on um, the base like the others it'll have Ben Presto these are from the Ben Presto uh, line so let's give it a little 360 view and let's see we're looking for seams so I'll do one quick view I already saw one okay so there's a um, little seam you see it I know it's kind of hard to tell, but there's a seam there. This camera's really good, so um, it'll show you everything. Um, and then you see under his head, kind of looks like the way pops are made. They always have that little thing there. Thankfully, when you look at them head on, doesn't you don't see that, and it's not a big deal. I just like to, you know, especially if a figure like this doesn't have any articulation, I have to nitpick everything. Because if I don't, what else am I going to talk about? <laughs> Gotta have something to talk about, but let's see. Uh, he's probably looking at Boma like that, just his expression. Because, uh, oh my God, what did Boma used to say to him? I remember she gave him a snack, or she tricked him to eat something, right? Kind of like, and he thought it was magic. And basically, if he said, if uh, Boma said a secret phrase, like a password or something, then he would just get the bubble guts, and he have to go to the bathroom. So when he tried to run away. She would say, oh, man, I wish I knew what it was. I got to go back watch Dragon Ball again. But she would say something and he would be like, oh, no, 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 no. And then he'd have to go in the bush or something. So that's probably the face he made after she threatened to do it or she just did it. And that's, you know what? Come to think of it, he's probably just now pulling up his pants from that ordeal. <laughs> this is probably why his arms are down to his side. Um, but uh, paint job, I like it. I like the paint job. I love his expression. I love the sharp, um, like pen lines they did uh, with his um, with his face. Like it. Um, let's see. Love the love that you can see the inside of the ears. Love the pink. Uh, his little overall outfit is cute. Um, I believe they also have one with he has the underwear on his. Uh, on his head from making his the wish. I think that was the first wish. Yeah, I think that was the Dragon Ball Gang's first wish, and he wished for some panties, just so Emperor Pilaf could not get a wish in. It was so spiteful. But I mean, come on, like he got a wish for everything. He should have wished for a girlfriend or something. You know, seriously. Or unless, um, you know, I think there's rules. Though. I don't think you can wish anyone. Or I'm, you know what? I'm thinking about the genie from Aladdin um, but I, I I don't know I forgot uh, are there rules to the Dragon Balls the original ones like you can, I, I'm pretty sure you can't wish anyone dead you can't wish for love but the thing is the same rules apply for the genie and Aladdin so I could be con conflating the two I'm not sure but um, let me know in the comments uh, I mean I'll probably google it after this because I'm curious now but can you you know kill someone with the Dragon Balls or can you um, wish for love? I don't think so. 
I'm pretty sure you can't. It's just that because I just recently watched Aladdin, I'm confused. <laughs> but I was going to say, he should have wished for a girlfriend instead of some panties. I mean, I don't know. Silly wishes. I mean, he could have wished for a hundred panties or a million panties. He only wanted one. But, <laughs> um, and speaking of Emperor Pilaf, I don't know why. You know what? What's the big deal? He would have became emperor. I mean, we saw what happened to the Red Ribbon Army. Even if Pilaf did become emperor, if he was up to no good, Goku would just squash him like he did the Red Ribbon Army. And Red Ribbon Army was pretty powerful, and he he uh, stomped them pretty good. Um, but that was after his uh, after his muscle tower, Zenkai boost, after his um, Korin tower, Zenkai boost, after he fil uh, finished off Tao Pai Pai, or we thought he finished him off. Um, spoilers, when Tao Pai Pai gets hit with the grenade, he's still alive. Um, man, I am ranting in this review. I'm tired, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I am a little tired. I uh, feel like this is not just a figure review anymore. Um... All right, but that's uh, give one more 360 review. I mean, view, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Like I said, these figures don't have articulation, so it's not too much I could talk about. But paint job is great, as you can see. Love the paint job. Excellent, excellent scope. Very fun. Very simple. You know, very nice. Uh, but this is a uh, Oolong by Van Presto from the Dragon Ball Collection line. Uh, they, they have volume numbers. My boxes are in my closet. I have a lot. I don't feel like digging them up. Sorry, guys. But, um, uh, I forgot what volume he is, but I think he's, is he volume two or volume one? I forgot. I'm not going to lead you guys astray. I'm not sure to be honest. Uh, but anyway, that was my review for Oolong. Um, I'm going to do, I'm thinking I want to do one something called one shot saturday i don't know if anyone ever made that up but i'm making it up now uh and basically instead of giving you guys like a picture like i gave you a picture of this guy yesterday the sneak peek and i gave you the video today i'm thinking i'm going to do um just uh basically a picture in the morning and then a review uh review of the figure later that night it's you know what yeah that's what i'll probably do uh, because, you know, you guys get it in the same day, so you don't have to wait another day. Um, I will, yeah, I'll definitely do that. I'll put up a picture in the morning. I'll be working, so I'll take a picture tonight and then, uh, upload it while I'm at work. And then when I get home, I'll do the video review. But for anyone watching this video, it'll be a quick sneak peek right now. I'm kind of cheating my rules right now, but I'll do, um, that guy. Um, excited to talk about him. I have a lot to say about this one. Um, but I will, um, talk more about him tomorrow. Oh boy, I am tired. Uh, but anyway guys, um, thanks for watching. Comment, tell me what you like about the figure, what you don't like about the figure. Um, like the video if you like it, dislike it if you don't, or don't do anything. <laughs> do whatever you want. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Be safe. Thanks. Bye.